The traditional Christian view of demons is that they are disembodied spirits that afflict or possess people. The activity of demons, however, transcends this. Demons can also inhabit buildings, land or space. Ignorance in this area has led to the uncontrolled activity of these demons. This book by Akakrabadi titled Squatters will expose you to this truth and give you practical steps you can take to overcome such demons. Get your copy now. You could be living with your enemy. You can order this book through the following means. Place your order on Facebook by posting Order Squatters at the comment section or message window. We also deliver worldwide. This message is brought to you by the friends and partners of Kakra Baden. Welcome to Air Power with Kakra Baden, teaching the nations with signs and wonders. Kakra is the senior pastor of the Morning Star Cathedral, Lighthouse Chapel International, Accra, Ghana. Now, today's message. Welcome. Kakra has been teaching an exciting message he calls the formula for humility under the subtitle, The Humility of Christ. Yesterday, he explained that the humility of Christ is a mindset that is not selfish. Today, he speaks about humility and power. Come along. I've been sharing on for humility and that I want to continue. Today, we are going to look at the humility of Christ. Philippians chapter 2. If, verse 1, if there be any consolation in Christ, if any comfort of love, if any fellowship of the Spirit, if any bowels of mercies, fulfill me my joy that you be like-minded, having the same love, being of one accord, of one mind. Please don't say the humility of Christ. Number one, this type of humility is a mindset. That's what it's a mindset. Verse three, let nothing be done through strife or vain glory. In lowliness of mind, let each esteem others better than themselves. Look not every man on his own things, every man also on the things of others. That's five. Let this man be in you, which also was in Christ Jesus, who being in the form of God, thought it not robbery to be made equal with God. Point number five. It is a decision not to exercise your power even when you can. The Bible says Jesus, he was God. But he, he decided that that power that he had as God, he will not exercise it. When you are powerful, if you are not careful, you abuse people or you abuse your position. So sometimes people go into politics, they are powerful. They begin to see a lot of money and they begin to steal the money. You see, that power that they have, they are exercising and abusing the power. And it's very telling about Jesus. You know, Jesus, there was not even once that he told Pilate, I will show you something. And suddenly then Pilate saw two angels with whips. Shoo, shoo. Then he said, Is this the, if, you, if you don't release him, you'll see what we'll do to you. That's why he told Pilate, he said, if I wanted to release angels, I will command 12 legions of angels. A legion is about 700 people. So 12 is 8,400. He said, I could have. But I decided not to exercise that power. There are some people, they look humble because they have no power. They can't do anything. You call him Johnny? Yeah. He has nothing, so he looks very humble. Give him power, he will change. When you have power that you can use, but you control it and subject it to the will of God, that is humility. Power that is subject to the will of God. There are husbands who don't want their wives to have money so that they can control them and maltreat them. Their form of control is financial. When I have financial power, then I will teach my wife one or two lessons. When I am angry, no money in the house. Your car, no fuel. Even food, I won't buy. You will know that I am king of kings and lord of lords. 
That's not humility. One day we had a Bible student. I think he came on the weekend. By Tuesday, I was in my office. I saw somebody has cooked lunch and is bringing it. So I thought it was his sister. So when we closed, I said, today your sister really brought you nice food. Though. He said, oh, it's not my sister. I said, but who is that? He said, one of the church members. Then I said, where do you know the church member from? He said, oh, we met just on Sunday. That's when we met. Then I said, ah, so you met on Sunday and this church member came to cook a whole dinner for you. He said, yes, I told them that I'm a pastor, so they should bring me food. I was shocked. Then I said, I have been in this church for 10 years. The thing I saw you do, I have never done some before. You came three days ago. You have become a pope in the church. So when you have power, remember, it is not uh, an avenue or a tool to abuse or control people. It must be subject to the word and the will of God. That is the humility of Christ. Thanks for joining us. Today we learned that the humility of Christ is a mindset which takes decisions not to exercise power even when it can. Join us next week and have a blessed weekend. Before we go, here's a praise report to boost your faith. Dad healed of paralysis. Dear Kakra, I wrote to you some time ago requesting for prayers for my dad who was paralyzed from head to toe. You replied that you had prayed for him. By the grace of God, he is completely healed. My mom's dream of him walking by himself again has come to pass. Thank you and God bless you. Thanks for your time. You can contact us, seek counseling, ask for prayer, order today's full length message or order books through the following means. Call us or message us on WhatsApp to plus 233 55 700 90 10. Send an email to info at .org. You can also make a regular call or send a text to plus 233 Our office hours are 10 a.m. to 1600 hours GMT. Finally, write to us, share your testimony and how this broadcast has been a blessing to you.